Hi guys! In this video, let's take a look at how a servo motor works. I will first connect the servo and let it sweep back and forth automatically, then add a potentiometer to control the position of the servo manually. We will need these parts. Uno R3, servo SG90, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, male to male jumper wires and a breadboard. Servo is a type of geared motor that can only rotate 180 degrees. This is a tiny and lightweight SG90. It comes with three arms and hardware. The servo has three wires, of which the brown one is the ground wire and should be connected to the ground port of UNO. The red one is the power wire and should be connected to the 5 volt port. And the orange one is the signal wire. Servo is controlled by sending electrical pulses from your UNO R3 board. These pulses tell the servo what position it should move to. Position 0 is middle. It has 1.5 millisecond pulse. Position 90 is all the way to the right, 2 millisecond pulse. And position minus 90 is all the way to the left, 1 millisecond pulse. This is a schematic for the first example to do with the servo sweep. 5 volt is connected to the positive wire of the servo. Ground wire of the servo is connected to the ground. Pin D9 is connected to the signal wire of the servo. Let's do the wiring now. I am connecting the power wire, then the signal wire, and finally the ground wire with the jumper wires. The other side of the jumper wires go to the ground, 5 volts and D9 pins. This is the sketch. I'm using the servo library, declaring my variables first. In setup, I'm attaching to pin D9. In loop, I'm doing the sweep from 0 to 180 degrees, afterwards backwards. As you can see, it's working well and the servo is sweeping in both directions. This is the schematic for the second example for the servo controlled by potentiometer. This is the symbol for the potentiometer. It will be connected to pin A0 on the UNO. The other side will connect to the ground and the other side to 5 volts. Other than that, the schema stays the same. Potentiometers, also known as spot, are nothing but variable resistors. They can provide a variable resistance by simply varying the knob on top of its head. The diagram shows the parts present inside a potentiometer. We have a resistive track whose complete resistance will be equal to the rated resistance value of the pot. If the viper is placed exactly at 30% from pin 1, as shown here, if we measure the resistance between pins 1 and 2, we will get 30% of the total resistance and measuring across terminal 2 and 3 will get a resistance of 70% of the total resistance. So the terminals 1 and 2 or terminals 2 and 3 can be used to obtain the variable resistance and the knob can be used to vary the resistance and set the required value. Let's do the wiring now. I am first placing the potentiometer on the breadboard and connecting it to 5 volts. The other side of its resistive track will connect to the ground. Remaining pin will connect with pin A0. Now let's connect the servo the same way as in the first example. This is the sketch. In setup, let's attach to pin D9 and start the serial monitor. In loop, let's read the value coming from the potentiometer. This value will be of range 0 to 1023. Let's map it to the target range of 0 to 180 degrees. Send it over to the servo motor using the write method. Let's upload the sketch and see how well it works. Make sure you push the potentiometer nice and tight into the breadboard, otherwise servo is going to go crazy. Let me know in the comments about your own experience with potentiometers and servos. See you next time.